Howdy, how's it going today, guitar lovers? Today's lick is another 2-5 pattern, um, and it is in the key of um, C. It's a one-measure pattern. Yeah, we're doing it in C, so it's a D minor 7 to a G7, or G9 in this case, to a C major. So D minor, G7, C major. It is, uh, I'm playing it in six different ways, six different positions. There are more possibilities depending on how much shifting you want to do. It's, uh, it goes up the D minor first to the seventh. One uh, on the D minor, one, three, five, seven. And then goes down a half step, which brings us to the third of the G7. And then we have on the G7, 3, 5, 7, 9, resolving down to the 5th of the C chord. So in total, so it's two arpeggios outlining the chords. It's ascending, um, and it makes the change from the D minor to the G7 uh, by half step, so good voice leading. Um, so that is uh, this lick. Um, you can play it in uh, many different keys, obviously, um, but learn it in each fingering or you know, go through the fingerings and find which one is closest to the way you already play and then and go from that. Um, so I'm going to run through them again. I'll flash the tab up there and uh, then uh, maybe I'll jam on it a little bit and um, see if maybe you can pick something out there. I have a trick. And, uh, see if you can figure it out. Next fingering. That's all of them. So that's all the fingerings. Um, and then again, like always, toy with it, uh, put it in context, see what you can do with it, break it into little pieces. Like, let me elaborate on that just really quickly. So if I have, what I mean by toy with that is maybe play the notes in a different order. Um, like, right, instead of straight through, maybe I start on the fifth, down to the root, back up to the third, to the seventh, so, right, um, so that would be one way, and maybe apply the same idea to the next one, so I went from the first note, I went from the first note in the pattern to the third note, then to second, and then to fourth, so on the second chord I can do the same, first note, uh, third, That's kind of cool. So. It's cool. I haven't done that one before. It has kind of a cool angular thing. Let's hear it over the changes. I like it. Very angular. The regular one, back to it. So that time I did the first one invert or chopped up and the second one regular. Uh, now I'm just going to toy with it and uh, see if you can mm, steal any of this.
Okay, so there were some good ideas in there, and there were some bad ideas in there, <laughs> or just ideas that didn't work out. They weren't bad, per se. I mean, they were worth trying. Now I know they don't work. Um, but you just got to go for it and be okay with playing a bunch of wrong notes. Um, you're not going to get very far with this jazz stuff if you're not okay playing a bunch of wrong notes. Um, that's how you find uh, the good ones. But sometimes the wrong ones are, are really juicy. All right, so um, that's it. I think that's it. I think we're getting... The, the, the flow of things here. I'm just going to jam on this lick and incorporate it and take it on out. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to be putting together um, these licks. And I'm also going to be putting together... Um, people have been asking about a, um, how do I warm up? How do I get things uh, going in the morning or a day or before a gig or whatever? And I do have a routine and I'd be happy to share that with you. So... I'm going to put that together, I think, in a uh, PDF or something. Uh, but let me know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, ring the, the little bell. Bing. And um, thanks. We'll see you.